the best Hawaii. Aloha everyone, my name is JT O'Hario and I'm the artist behind Aloha De Mele. So Aloha De Mele was kind of something I just fell upon. Um, I have no background in art whatsoever. And one day in Chicago, I think it was back in 20, 2017, right after I was recovering from hip surgery, I got really bored and thankfully a lot of my personal training clients, because I was a trainer at the time, they bought me a ton of coloring books and then I also was shopping online because I had nothing else to do and I saw artwork that I really wanted but everything was so expensive and like $400 for just this small piece and I was like oh, I can draw that myself and so I would draw something on my iPad and then take it to Target and print it out and ta-da! I wasn't artsy, I wasn't, I didn't doodle, I was a total jock, I was wrestling in judo. It surprised me just as much as it did everybody else that I could actually draw. <laughs> and I didn't start really showing my art to the public at all until around 2020 um, or the end of 2019 just because I just, you know, I had in my mind that I was just fitness and wellness, you know, this isn't my thing. I don't really want people to know slash I was scared they were going to judge me. So that's kind of the reason also why I put Aloha de Mele instead of my name. Uh, Mele is my dog. He's my Aloha. So I'm a COVID artist is how I like to say it. Um, I only started selling my art and putting it online publicly in the summer of 2020. I got let go from my job um, in March 2020. I was actually a personal trainer up in Lanai for a luxury company. And one day I decided to sell my art just for fun at the Lanai Art Center up there and I brought my art into the break room and because they can't be in the sun in my car all day and my coworkers saw it and they were like oh my goodness this is so pretty I've been told yeah that my artwork is is different in terms of it kind of captures the Hawaii that I know um, I'm very very lucky to say that I was born and raised here and my view on Hawaii and kind of what represents us is a little bit softer, if that's one way. I tend to stick to just a few primary colors in my artwork. For example, the shell ginger is just all the reds and everything. Um, the Poa Kenny Kenny Lei, just the Lei itself, monotone colors. And so it's. I don't try to throw everything in there, I just try to focus on just one thing. And the faces that I draw um, look like us, look like local girls, you know, with the multiracial features, the, the big hair, the Tiraban. <laughs> um, and I just try to stay true and authentic to kind of what I grew up with and try to share it with the world. My business, it super, I mean, it exploded. I, Foodland started asking for greeting cards. You know, my prints started going to places like Latvia, uh, <laughs> and my favorite Tahiti. And it was, it was a little, it was a little overwhelming at first because a lot of people thought that I should know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm kind of just making this up as I go, and it's working. Um, but now I actually got my own studio, which is amazing. Um, I'm really excited to decorate it. And I even purchased uh, my own printer. And by printer, I mean huge printer that can print my artwork, other artists' artwork. Just for here in Hawaii, because it's really hard, I learn to get really nice, fine art prints here. So a lot of the drawings that you see that I'm selling that are on prints and pareos is um, ones that I do on my iPad. I use an iPad Pro and Apple Pencil too and with that I use Adobe programs and they have something that's actually exclusive to Adobe. It's called Live Brushes and it acts just like watercolor. So if I put too much blue or red or too many colors in at once it'll turn brown or some sort of odd color. Um, so it acts like a real paint. Uh, I can blend and that's what I love about it. And then I also recently, because I felt like I wanted to kind of <laughs> prove more that I could actually draw for real, I started doing um, pencil and so graphite and charcoal portraits of 
my favorite is actually drawing um, portraits with le po or some sort of floral with them. So now that I have my own studio um, down here in Kakaako at 677 Alamona Boulevard, Suite 905, it's the old gold bond building and you guys can come in and purchase things without shipping. And also on my website, alohademele.com and Instagram is actually kind of my online portfolio and that's where I got my big start.